Welcome to Sand City Sports on this Thursday. To the business, folks, this is going to be a very serious or a more serious show because we have serious things that are going on in this nation along with the pandemic that need to be addressed. That's the first thing. I'm talking, of course, about the brutal killing of Ahmaud Arbery in Georgia. Before I look at how this intersects, interacts with sports, first and foremost, as Americans, we have to recognize as human beings, this is unacceptable and it needs to be prosecuted. These individuals need to be held accountable to the full extent of the law. That is first and foremost. All of what we're able to enjoy and appreciate as Americans with sports, so on and forth, even in the midst of the pandemic, still a first world nation, the richest nation in the history of the world. That is based on our values, our constitution, our way of life, so on and forth. Clearly not perfect here in America, but a standard, historically speaking, unmatched, okay? Justice, the foundation of that. Before we get into sports, Ahmaud Arbery, we need justice for this man. That established in a far secondary importance, I want to look at the statement by LeBron James and the rebuttal by Jason Whitlock. First and foremost, I 1 million percent support LeBron James speaking out about social justice issues and throwing his weight and his brand behind the civil rights of American citizens. Ahmaud Arbery did not come to our attention. It's May. This happened in February until people spoke up like LeBron James. Vehemently, 1 million percent support this. Now, words matter. And the phrase, we are hunted every day, is not 100% accurate in terms of looking at the experience of African Americans in America in the year 2020. Nonetheless, I am willing to give LeBron James the benefit of the doubt, given the enormity and seriousness of this situation. The man's heart was and is in the right place. Now over to Jason Wetlock in conclusion. Strong supporter of Speak For Yourself, what he's done in the world of sports media. The idea that LeBron James is somehow leveraging this situation in order to build up his brand is the textbook definition of a conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theories are propagated by mental midgets. Jason Whitlock, you are much better than that. Admit your error and let's move forward in the direction that we must to secure justice for Ahmad Arbery. See you next time, folks.